This is just a quick comparison between uh, the older uh, SCUF 4PS controller and the new SCUF Impact uh, for PlayStation 4. Um, the old version, I never really tricked them out too much. These are just both control freaks on here. Um, I really just wanted them for the paddles on the back, so I could have like a, a jump and then, you know, like a crouch or a reload on this side. And uh, I would always cut my right paddle so it would be shorter. Just because of how I held my controller, I actually used, put my middle finger across and then I, I'll use, I'll just dip down when I need to use it like that. Um, and I found that the longer paddle got in the way of my, uh, my index finger here um, gripping the controller. Um, so I'd always trim that down. But the, uh, the new version, so this is the impact um, in how I set it up, I just did, uh, I have the scuff dome sticks on it, uh, the longer one on the right. Um, and I think that this is actually a really amazing controller because of what they did. They kind of uh, took the comfort of the older like Xbox 360 controller and then merged it with the PlayStation controller. So it's like the best of both worlds. Um, and I really love the uh, the texture that they put in here. I don't know if it's all of them that come with this. I got like the like the flat gray, uh, which reminded me like the PlayStation One classic colors. So I got that color, but it's got a little bit of a rubbery feel to it, which actually feels really nice in the hands, like a soft silicone uh, type feel. And then the uh, the scuff sticks are actually really grippy and, and comfortable. So I've been pretty happy with them. Um, What's uh, really cool though is that since it's uh, a little bit wider, it fits four uh, paddles on the back now, and and I, as you can see, I don't have to trim it at all. Like everything actually fits really comfortably. Uh, this controller feels uh, freaking amazing. Um, I don't. And the problem is I don't know if I can even go back to using uh, an older scuff or a normal PlayStation controller. So that, that is the bad thing about upgrading to this. Um, and then also I like that they uh, reinforce the charging cable here so uh, it has a little bit of like a, a shield or like a pocket for your cable to go into so it won't bend and yank and get like uh, just like break and break off inside of that port. So it's just some solid reinforcement for whenever you plug it in. And another cool change I noticed that you can actually, they made the uh, touchpad a little bit see-through here so normally this light you can't even see what it's doing some games utilize it to indicate you know your health status or something else um, but it's almost useless because you can't even see when you're holding a controller away from you um, so they made like a little uh, slit up here that you can actually see what color this bar is making which is just a nice little touch um, and then of course you can change out your sticks with this like little locking mechanism um, and then uh, you also have these switches on the bottom for your R2 and L2 that you can rotate around. It'll just give you like a shorter uh, trigger pull. But the really my favorite part of this controller is just the size of it, the width, the layout, the 360 merge with the PlayStation controller. Uh, it turned out to be like great freaking concept and a great idea, great execution. And uh, this is really, I think, where Scuff like should have been making controllers all along, um, because this this thing really uh, does make it worth the money to upgrade. So that's just a quick overview. Um, comes with your typical Scuff box. I know the old ones used to come with this really like crappy looking white box. They kind of actually made the boxes a little bit nicer too, um, and then a bunch of materials and stuff. So. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of other reviews that though that go really into depth on this controller. I just wanted to say what I liked about it, and that even me using a typical uh, 4PS and then upgrading to this, it felt great. And if you were a fan of how the old 360 controller felt, you're definitely going to love the change to this. And I think any Xbox user switching over to PlayStation, this would help that transition feel less awkward for you. So thanks for watching.